Hi, I have acquired uh, a new receiver to me, a uh, Pony SX850, and uh, it's got a few issues. Um, that um, I always leave it there to so I have to clean it a little bit, and um, I will do uh, more restoration later. Uh, like changing the caps and uh, some transistors, but um, at the moment I just decide to uh, to clean it and uh, put it aside. And uh, what I find out that um, there was an issue with uh, uh, with dial cords and uh, the dial didn't move. So um, uh, if you want to uh, fix this this problem, of course, if uh, the string is all right, then. Uh, and uh, you have to uh, take off the front panel and uh, there's like um, a little cover here uh, which covering the uh, dial and you have to take it off and uh, there's like a um, it's like a glute in there uh, a little string so I used um, uh, just a super glue to, uh, to glue it and I hope it's going to be alright and uh, uh, of course, I find uh, some more issues as well, and uh, that um, uh, those uh, uh, lights don't work. So, uh, um, so what you have to do is, so of course, take the front panel and uh, and then uh, there's like an assembly here you know, for for the lights, which are attached that way, and of course, there's like um, those uh, eight volt. Uh, 30 uh, milliamps uh, lights and uh, and then t take these off and replace it with LEDs. I was having looking in schematics and it says that um, it is uh, 8 volt uh, 50 milliamp uh, 50 milliamp uh, uh, little bulbs so I will replace them all with, with LEDs. Uh, I've got more LEDs in stock, so I want to try what uh, what kind of color of LED will be best. I think it's a five millimeter LED, and um, of course that will uh, absolutely exceed the life expectancy of, of uh, this receiver. So, so what I did now, I um, took this uh, this assembly off. Um, it's not that easy. I don't know the guy who was doing it used quite a lot of force. And uh, it's mounting like that. And so what you have to do is uh, take off the screws here. And so obviously there was like a tie uh, for for the cable. And so take it off. And as you can see, uh, it's getting a little bit brittle. And uh, with with the heat. So uh, so this is um, the light assembly. Um, and uh, there's like a little bulbs in in there. And so. Uh, now I see the situation, what's the voltage like, it meant to be 8 volts and so I tried to uh, replace it with LEDs so uh, I managed to take off uh, uh, another assembly and um, that I actually found out that the brittle thing actually wasn't caused by, by the bulb because uh, I find that uh, they actually that assembly doesn't have bulb uh, because there's only uh, two positions uh, speaker A and speaker B and so uh, they've been using this assembly for the uh, old series from uh, I believe uh, 850 to 1250 now I, now I hook it up and uh, try to compare those LEDs and uh, um, this is uh, on the left is uh, that LED is super bright white which is this one and on the right side is uh, original, original bulb. So uh, you can see how much brighter it is. And honestly, I have to say that um, it, it looked all right. The bulb looked all right. Um, but in the end, I actually honestly prefer much, much brighter, much brighter light. But um, it's more like orange than um, like a yellowish orange. And uh, compared to this orange, so I will definitely use those uh, uh, low temperature lights uh, because this is just uh, this is just too bright. So as you can see, it is too too white, and uh, so I will hook it up and, and see the situation in there. And I install the first LED in uh, into the assembly, and uh, it's nice and bright. So. Uh, 
it is lovely lovely orange color and so uh, I just show you how I did it uh, it's the uh, it's the LED oh it's still you go to uh, attach it with a hot glue gun but it will be lovely and so uh, this is the LED and I managed to install the rest of LEDs to uh, the, the other assembly and so uh, all of them are working if I dim the lights a little bit you will see and it looks it looks very I, nice. I swap all LEDs and uh, it's really easy fix I think everyone everyone should should try it it's uh, it's working perfectly I was the oxide um, uh, switches so uh, uh, there's no crackling and, and stuff anymore and so uh, I will I will uh, change uh, caps and transistors so in the near future. Thank you for watching my video and see you next time. Bye bye.